I had a friend who called me in class um, a couple months ago and she was at Starbucks and she was with a young woman who um, had been crying and so my friend kind of turned to her and was like what's going on and this girl um, said that she had been a victim of human trafficking. And so my friend called me and I left class and went to go help her at Starbucks because my friend didn't really know what to do but she knew that I led this club. So I got to Starbucks and this girl um, was there with my friend and she said that she had come from the motel across the street and that she had woken up there um, and that she had been drugged and she thinks she had been there for about three days. Um, and. It was kind of confusing talking to her and getting all the pieces of her story um, because she is from Mexico but also has family in the Bay Area and so she was up here um, I think visiting her family or possibly visiting Berkeley because she said she was getting a scholarship to attend Berkeley for I think a year. Um, but I was trying to um, figure out like what we should do and she just really wanted, she was really overwhelmed, you know, she clearly this is a very traumatic situation and so she wanted to just go home, she wanted to be um, taken to her mom's house and so first we called the National Human Trafficking Hotline, the one run by Polaris and but she refused to talk to them on the phone because she, she was like I don't know who to trust, I don't, I don't want to talk to anyone so then I wasn't quite sure what to do because you know we couldn't take her home like we didn't really know what to do and so um, I called a woman who works at Santa Clara in the counseling center and she had spoken to our club about a year earlier and she had previously worked with victims of human trafficking and so I called her because I was like she's just the first person that I thought of and so um, I asked this young woman if she would talk to um, this counselor on the phone but she still refused. She uh, felt comfortable talking to me and my friend but she didn't want to talk to anyone she didn't know on the phone. So this counselor kind of walked me through some things to tell her and she gave me some phone numbers to give this woman. Um, so I think one of them was for services in San Jose like that would help her get bus tokens and things like that to get where she needed to, know, to go. And then the other was for medical services if she needed um, any sort of if she wanted a checkup or she needed any sort of care and then actually there was a third number for to help her get legal services because the reason she was so hesitant to talk to anyone too was that she was not a US citizen and so she was worried about getting sent back to Mexico and not getting the help that she needed um, but eventually she called her mom and her mom came from work and picked her up um, and so we never saw her or heard from her again. But it was definitely an eye-opening experience talking to her because she has clearly been through a lot and it was difficult for her to know who to trust, which I totally understand. And so, um, I mean, I'm glad we could be there for her for the few minutes she was waiting in Starbucks, but I, I hope that everything was okay. And so like stories like that, kind of helped me keep going because I know that like like my friend told me afterwards she was like I probably wouldn't have done anything except like you had educated me on this issue and um, things like that helped me remember that like I have made an impact even if it's seems small